welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I've got a very messy mobile home to clean up. I've got dishes to wash, clothes to fold, and I'm even thinking about baking a banana bread. So if y'all are interested, I hope you can stick around and enjoy the video. A little visit with my maxi boy. I tell you what, this is a sweet puppy. He loves to snuggle and he wants so bad to be a lap dog. And he loves to chew. He's getting pretty good about only chewing his toys, but every once in a while he gets confused and tries to chew something he's not supposed to, like shoes or the corner of my table. I sure hope he outgrows this stage. Well anyway, how about a messy house tour? Well not really messy, more like a lived in house tour. I've got loads of laundry to fold and put away from my last trip to the laundromat, and I have last night's dishes to be washed and put away. I'm going to be cleaning the kitchen and straightening up the living room, and I plan on cleaning both bathrooms, and I need to start cleaning out the laundry room. And I also hope to have time to bake a banana bread. So if y'all are ready, let's just get into the video. Today I started out by making my bed and straightening up my room a little bit. I started to fold the clothes but decided it would be better to leave that for later in the day and moved into the kitchen to start washing the dishes. I really should be washing them at night after dinner but I'm always so tired from the day and all the cleaning and cooking so I usually just end up leaving the dishes for the next day but it can be a little overwhelming waking up to such a big mess in the kitchen every day. I've heard that it takes just 30 days of repeating a task for it to become routine. So I'm going to challenge myself starting today to start washing the dinner dishes at night so I can get into the habit of cleaning the kitchen before bed so no more waking up to huge messes. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking 
It's like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I believe in us I won't give up on you I will be holding on for life Hope you believe in us Please don't give up on me At least give me a try Cause you're the best thing, the best thing I left the pot soaking in water overnight so they would be easier to clean and I got started by emptying out the sink. I'm using dish detergent to scrub both sinks out before I start hand washing the dishes and I always like to start out with a clean sink. I bought these silicone sink stoppers to plug up the drain while washing but they don't work very well. You barely bump them and all the hot soapy water goes rushing down the drain so I'm going to have to find something else to plug the drain because these are just a pain in the butt. So anyway, I usually start out with the utensils and the cups, and I usually finish with the big pots and pans. And I tell y'all what, I sure do miss having a dishwasher, because hand washing all these dishes every day is getting really old. is just a call away you don't have to be afraid you don't have to be afraid I'll keep you safe all night and day I'll be where you wanna be yes I'll be where you wanna be I'll be your rock, I'll be your man Just like from where it all began You're more than everything You're more than everything to me Make me a promise, tell me you love me And that you'll never shut me out, out, out To me or a goddess, baby, let me show you Once I've finished washing all the dishes, I like to rinse out the sink and wipe down the counters with usually Lysol, but today I'm using Pine Saw. I find it's just about the only multi-purpose cleaner that I use the most. I use it every day on the counters, the floors, the toilets, and even on the walls. It's what my mom used all the time. She would clean our mobile home top to bottom every day, and when I would come home from school, all you could smell was Pine Saw. Such good memories of always coming home to a clean house. And I'm trying to do that for my boys, but I'm not always successful. But I'm working on it. Thank you. 
Once I finish wiping down all the surfaces, I really need to clean the stove top. I'm going to be trying the pink stuff for the first time. I've heard really good things about it, so I'm excited to try it out. First, I need to remove the burners and the drip pans. I'm going to put a small amount of the pink stuff on a rag and then start scrubbing the stove top. And I can't believe how easy it was to clean off all the burnt bits. I started to clean the drip pans with the pink stuff, but I honestly don't have the time or energy to try and scrub those clean today. And to be honest, I'll probably just replace them or cover them with tinfoil like my mom used to do. Because I know with the way I cook, they'll just end up all black again. But I was very impressed with how well the pink stuff worked on the stove top. So once I finish wiping down the oven, it will be time to sweep and mop. And I made a mistake and swept and mop before I took out the trash, and I ended up leaking watermelon juice all over my clean floor. That was a good reminder to take out the trash before I mop. These painted floors are holding up really well. The only thing I would have done differently would be to polyurethane them after painting. They're a little hard to mop, but it's still a lot better than they were before I painted them. I'm so excited y'all. It's finally starting to feel like autumn up here in the mountains. It's still pretty warm during the day to where we still need to run at least one of the air conditioners, but we turn them off at night because it gets pretty chilly. We could almost turn the heater on at night, but we want to get the heating system checked out and the ductwork cleaned before we turn it on. The air registers are so full of dirt and dust, and who knows what else is down there inside those ducts, so we really want to get somebody in here to get that cleaned out before we feel comfortable turning them on. So after some fresh water for the pups and a nice clean trash can, and I'm all finished with the kitchen. For now at least. Next I'm going to try to straighten up the laundry room as best as possible. This is where we are storing all the paint and some supplies for working on the mobile home. But it's starting to get a little bit out of control. I'm going to box up some tools to move into the storage trailer. 
And once my husband is retired and living here full time, which is in about a week, then we'll be able to finish all the mobile home repairs and then move the rest of this stuff out to uh, the laundry room. I'm so ready to get a washer and dryer, but we need to finish the laundry room repairs first. We need to rebuild the half wall and cut a hole for the dryer vent. The back door also needs some work. The threshold is damaged so bad that you can see daylight coming in under the door, so that will need to be replaced as well. Otherwise, it will be impossible to keep this place warm come this winter. going to get for now at least until we're able to completely clear it out but now I'm going to go straighten up the living room it's not so bad today I'm just going to dust and sweep and mop it's been a big adjustment having a dog that sheds Willow doesn't shed since she's a Yorkie but Max leaves fur everywhere and it's very visible I'll be happy to get my vacuum back because all this sweeping is for the birds I wanted to give y'all a little update on the townhouse. I just spoke to the realtor and the sale of the townhouse finalized today. We sold our townhouse. So now we can start looking for a house to buy up here in the mountains. We still have a piece of property that we are in the process of selling, but it's taking a really long time. We were hoping to sell the townhouse and the property before we started house hunting, but I'm ready to get started as soon as possible. I've enjoyed living in the mobile home, but it would be nice to have our own home. It's my dream to own some chickens and a few goats, so we're hoping to find a house with a little bit of land so we can raise some farm animals.
Okay, so now the living room is clean, and all I need to do is put away the dishes, and the kitchen will be clean. I was going to wait for the boys to get home from school to put the dishes away, but I didn't like seeing them sitting there. There will be plenty more dishes for them to put away, and I really wanted the kitchen to look clean. Once I'm finished with that, I'm ready to tackle the bathrooms. And once I'm finished in the bathroom, I'm planning on baking some banana bread. I have some bananas that are overripe and are just perfect for baking, and I found a recipe online that I wanted to try. Alright, first the bathrooms. So you see it's been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you could save yourself But that's love that's just love. This is what I call the master bathroom. It's not attached to the master bedroom, but it's right next to it. And as you can see, it still needs a lot of work. We still need to replace the floor and install the vanity. I'm going to be using a microfiber mop head from the Dollar Tree, along with some Kaboom to scrub the tub walls with. This is a huge tub, and I can't reach the walls without getting in the tub. This mop works good for light cleaning, but I still have to get in there and scrub the walls with a scrub brush, but I only do that about once a month. But this method works really good for those in-between cleanings. bathroom. I'm going to wipe down the sink and cabinet and scrub the toilet. I need to clean the tub, sweep and mop. I haven't decided if I want to install a toilet paper holder and towel rack yet. I'm thinking I'll just wait till we buy a new house. The basket works good to hold the toilet paper and I'll probably just hang some command hooks to hang the towels. <music>
Y'all, I just want you to know I'm trying really hard to talk more in the videos and play less music, but it's really hard coming up with things to say. I feel like some people really prefer the music and less chatty videos, and then others prefer more talking. I've never been a big talker, and words don't really come that easy to me. I'm actually very shy in real life, so I still can't believe I ever uploaded that first video to YouTube. Well, anyways, I was just curious what your preferences are. Do you want more talking, more music, or do you feel like I'm giving you a good mixture of both? Let me know down below. banana bread we sure do so i thought i'd make a special treat for the boys when they get home from school but i've never been very good at baking banana bread i've always used the betty crocker recipe from the cookbook my mom had when i was growing up but it never seems to turn out right it's either too dry too dense overcooked i don't know what i was doing wrong but it just never seemed to come out right so i googled an easy banana bread recipe that i can make in a square pan because i can't find my loaf pan and I found a recipe on a website called Celebrating Sweets, and I thought I'd give it a try. It's a simple recipe to follow, and it came out so moist and delicious. I'll be sure to link the recipe down below. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by gathering all the ingredients and measuring tools. The recipe calls for melted butter, brown sugar, eggs, very ripe bananas, vanilla extract, all-purpose flour, baking soda, salt, and more brown sugar for the topping. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees, and then I whisked together the butter and the brown sugar till well combined. Then add bananas, eggs, and vanilla. In a separate bowl, combine the flour, baking soda, and salt. Then you add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, and you stir the batter lightly until no more streaks of flour, but don't overmix it. I used an 8x8 pan, and the author suggested cooking for 35 to 45 minutes. I checked mine at 30 minutes, and it was perfect. I sprayed my pan with Pam no-stick spray, and then lined the bottom with parchment paper to make it easier to remove it from the pan. I had three or four bananas that were very ripe and I smashed them right inside the measuring cup with a fork. The recipe calls for two cups and I had just enough bananas. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get all these ingredients mixed up and I'm going to go ahead and put this banana bread in the oven. Oh, we're still here flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting cold.
Like I mentioned before, we really like banana bread, especially with walnuts, but I didn't have any this time. But I will definitely add some the next time I make some of this banana bread. I also like zucchini bread, but I can't remember the last time I've had any. It's been so long. I think I'll make one of those the next time I bake. What are some of your favorite quick breads? Look at that pretty golden brown. I was so worried I would burn it that I may have taken it out just a tad too early. I probably should have cooked it the extra five minutes, but better safe than sorry. I'm not used to this oven yet, or maybe it's the higher elevation, but this oven seems to cook hotter and faster than my last oven did. So I was afraid if I left it in the oven any longer, it would be ruined. It was almost too moist, but it was very delicious. I still have a ton of laundry to fold, but I think I'll take a little break first. I'm going to sit down and have a quick cup of coffee and some of this delicious banana bread. Whenever I sit down, I take that time to either watch a little YouTube or edit all my videos. I took about an hour break and then made dinner for the boys, and then it was finally time to finish folding the clothes. I had been folding the clothes of the laundry mat, but after I would fold the clothes neatly and put them in the plastic bags, well, I don't know what would happen, but by the time I got home and was ready to put the clothes away, they'd be all messed up, and I'd have to fold them again anyway. So I've just started bringing the clothes home to fold. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had Yeah, I know that we're not perfect But I need this night for the last time Stay
right, y'all. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these clothes all folded up and put away. And I guess that about wraps it up for this video. It was a long one, y'all. And I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I really appreciate you being here and watching. And thanks so much for spending some time with me today. And I'll see you in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.